Hi, Daddy. Hi. Stay here so we can talk to Daddy. We had a good day yesterday. Uh, Judy went to Grandma's house. Did you go to Grandma's house? And played, and she was really good for Mom. And we went to dinner, and she was super good at dinner. Mom brought her headphones because the drums were really loud when they did the drums for happy birthday. But she was so amazing and no fussing and no crying. And when they lit the big fire, we were at the teppanyaki, the Japanese steakhouse. When they lit the big fire, her eyes go. <sighs> but she wasn't really close to it, so she didn't get the heat. Um, anyway, information on candy. She's just not being honest about why I can't be in charge. And, um, Sheila came, or not Sheila, uh, Galen came into work yesterday to work an extra day on a Saturday. And she told me, yeah, I must have pissed her off somehow, but Candy told me it wasn't personal. But Galen said that she was in the room because Galen shares an office with Mark, and Mark does our ske scheduling. Well, I guess he overheard... Galen overheard Candy telling Mark, don't put Sandra in charge when there's a sick call. Because the last time when um, Suzanne wasn't, or Cindy wasn't there, and um, he put me as charge because Cindy wasn't there. And Candy told him, don't do that. Don't put me in charge at all. So that means it's not personal. It's not about she just didn't get me on the schedule like she wanted because I was on maternity leave, which is no legal reason for a cut in pay. Um, anyway, Jason thinks I should pursue it. I don't know. Confrontation with Candy, I just not something I look forward to. Um, also, Lisa told me that Candy hates confrontation, too. But, I don't know. Every time I re-talk to Candy about it, she doesn't answer my question fully, and she just makes up stuff that I know is a lie. So, I don't like her. In fact, when we move to Bonnie Lake, I might look at stuff at the Puyallup office. I love my job. I love what I do. I love the people I work with and the facility. But, my manager is a... Bitch. Sorry. Hi, Judy. Say hi to Daddy. Ooh, there's Judy. I don't know what we're going to do today. Probably try to get stuff done. I need to get started on my class. I need to take the pretest. Malia's gone for the weekend. She's over in Squim with Aislinn. I guess Aislinn just had a stroke this morning. Or in the middle of the night. It was just too bad. But, uh, I need to get my pretest taken. I need someone to hold her for like an hour. Maybe if she takes a good nap, I'll go take my test. My pretest. For nutrition. I love you. I'm glad I get to talk to you again in like nine days. That's cool. It's better than two weeks. Um, Rocky, wait. Same old, same old. Rocky wants out. Judy wants to sit up. Judy wants to sit up. There's Judy. She's not supposed to know that it's her reflection in a mirror and stuff until she's a year old. But she likes looking at faces. Is that Judy? You see Judy? She's looking right at it. <laughs> the camera's off to the side. Didn't she look pretty today? Aren't you pretty? You're always pretty. Mm, aren't you? Mm. You love daddy. But she loved daddy. All right. Well, I guess we're at four and a half minutes. So, I'll say goodbye. Mm, I'll talk to you again later today. Maybe.